Hi, my name is Tommy, and I'm a crafting dungeon master making terrain and props for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I've been looking into making some barrels, and I've been searching on YouTube and uh, found different kind of techniques, uh, which are all great, but um, I really wanted something that looked a bit more realistic, so I uh, kind of try to figure out how they are really made and try to kind of copy that. Uh, so here's my take on barrels. First I take some coffee stir sticks. You can use popsicle sticks but they are a bit thick. Using a steel brush to get a bit more texture. You can skip this step if you want. And I have a brown wash that I use, um, but I wanted my wood to look uh, a bit grayer, so I just uh, took some black and mixing with my paintbrush. I wanted each piece of wood to look a bit different, so I just uh, mixed with my brush uh, slightly different for each stick. And I use this thread, which I will use later for this banding around the barrels. I'm struggling a bit here. Uh, there are, it's uh, kind of difficult to get them apart. But finally, after much struggle, I made it. And here I'm taking the same brown wash, but without the black, just uh, dyeing the. Uh, the thread to get it uh, to look brown. Uh, this is messy, so uh, make sure you have uh, some paper at hand. Here I take the stick and use my cutting mat as a guide to measure out 2.5 centimeters for each stick. I use my exacto knife to just make a mark, but I cut them with a set of pliers because it's much easier. And I take my exacto knife to trim off a bit of each side uh, on the edge of each side to get this rounded shape for each wood piece. And I use my fingers to bend them, but they break easily. So uh, be careful or use some water or something to make it more flexible. And then I uh, put them together just to see if they fit. And I use hot glue on the inside I don't want the glue to be visible from the outside, so, but uh, it won't be if you just use a small amount. And I continue that until I get uh, about the half of the barrel. And I make another half, which I will later glue with uh, white glue, PVA glue, together. I take the two halves, just uh, putting them together here, just to see if they fit. And they do, so I take this PVA glue. Applying a small amount on each of um, each side and um, uh, fitting them together and I use uh, some uh, wire just to uh, hold the barrel together while the glue is drying.
just twisting to make sure the barrel pieces are tight together. Using my pliers just to cut off some excess uh, wire. And now I'm going to make the top and bottom of the barrel. So I just uh, uh, measure out, finding that I need four pieces. So, and uh, I glue them with uh, white glue together. And just to make it stronger, I will I use PVA glue on the what will be inside of the lid. And I just put the barrel on top and using a small pencil to uh, see about what size I need. Just um, using my exacto knife to uh, to cut it so it will be uh, round. And I try several times with the. Uh, um, uh, with the barrel to see if the lid is too too uh, big or too small. The goal is to get the piece to be a little tight, but not too tight because you have to be able to uh, fit it inside the barrel. Here I'm just trying to see if the piece fits, and it does. So I use that to make the other side of the barrel. cutting it with my exacto knife and here I'm just uh, using my knife again to trim each end of the sticks a bit just so uh, so it will uh, be flush I'm using PVA glue to glue on the inside um, after fitting the the one end of the barrel I'm just taking off this wire here and while the glue is drying I take the thread making a small knot and um, putting it on the barrel This is kind of tricky, but you, you'll get the hang of it after a barrel or two. This was my first, so I'm kind of struggling a bit here. And the barrels aren't actually that difficult to make, so just uh, make sure that you make more than one, uh, and you'll get the hang of it. And I'm using PVA glue to make sure that the knot won't loosen. Some of the knot and some on the other side. It will dry transparent, so it's not a big deal. I'm sorry about the camera here, I was uh, out of the camera. Okay, so here I made uh, three, one in the middle and one on each end. And um, the other end piece, which I'm uh, trying to fit here, I just use some hot glue uh, just to temporarily uh, have a handle. So I can kind of take that uh, handle uh, to put the lid inside. And I'm using PVA glue on the inside, uh, hoping that it will fasten the, the end piece. But that's not enough actually, so I, I take more afterwards. But uh, you'll see, I, um, I just fit the end piece there and taking more PVA glue in the, um, in the corners.
and make sure that the glue is dried before you remove the handle again. But hot glue is uh, kind of easy to remove, so it's it's no big deal. So now it's uh, kind of finished. Um, looks kind of real, realistic, I think. I'm quite happy with the result. Here's another close-up of the end result. You can also use metal for banding if you want. And here's the barrel put into some context. This was the first barrel I made and it was a bit big, but uh, I made some more afterwards which were a bit smaller. If you like this video this um, and these barrels, please like and share. Here with some more of the barrels I made. Thank you so much for watching.